Happy Wednesday morning, Mutant Engineer coming back to you from Providence, Rhode Island. And this morning I'm going to sing a song for you, The Sunny Side of the Street. And it's been done by many, many, many great musicians, including Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong. And I'm going to kind of channel the Willie Nelson version. And I know those of you who have been keeping up with me um, notice that I sing a lot of Willie Nelson. Well, he's one of my favorite artists. And uh, I'm going to say a little bit about uh, his uh, history, very briefly. So when Willie Nelson got started out in the early 60s, he was fairly popular. And then there was a time where his popularity took a nosedive, and he was more of a songwriter for other people. Well, at the very end of his career with RCA Records, around 1972, um, his albums were selling very poorly, and he wanted to do his version of uh, what became known as Outlaw Country, but uh, the RCA record label wouldn't allow him to do that, and they put a lot of restrictions. They didn't like for him to showcase his guitar skills. They wanted to put him behind that Nashville wall of sound. So his manager actually paid RCA Records like $10,000 to let him out of his contract. And I think he rushed out one more album to fulfill whatever he had to do. Then he signed on with Atlantic Records where he did a couple of very fine albums. One was called Shotgun Willie and the other one was called Phases and Stages. But after those two albums, um, Atlantic Records shut down their country music division and Willie Nelson was really their only more or less star. Now those albums did pretty well, but uh, they weren't the commercial successes that Atlantic had been hoping for, despite their high quality. So he was able to get a deal with Columbia Records that enabled him to have complete artistic control over his material, which stands to this day. And boy, are they glad they did that, because right from the start with the Red-Headed Stranger album, uh, he was a hit maker, and that went well on into the 80s. Well, this sunny side of the street, he recorded on his standard album called Stardust in 1978. And as I said, it was standards. Everything on it was a uh, cover of some great uh, tune from years past. And it sold something like 11 million copies. So it's one of the better-selling standards albums of all time. All right, without further ado, if you've listened through all of this, thank you so much. I'm going to sing Sunny Side of the Street. Here we go. Grab your coat and grab your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet on the sunny side of the street. Can you hear a pitter pat? And the happy tune is your step. Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. I used to walk in the shade with the blues on parade. But I'm not afraid. My rover crossed over. If I ever had a cent, I'd be rich as Rockefeller. With gold dust at my feet On the sunny side of the street Grab your hoe and get your hat Leave your worry on the doorstep And just direct your feet On the sunny side of the street Can you hear a pitter-pat? Oh, the happy tune is your step Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street, ba ba da ba ba, ba da ba, ba ba da ba da ba, ba ba da ba ba da ba, ba ba da da, ba ba da da. Well, can you hear a pitter pat? Oh, the happy tune is your step. Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. I used to walk in the shade. Baby with those blues on parade. Oh, I'm not afraid. My rover crossed over. 
And if I never have a cent, I'll be rich as Rockefeller. With the gold dust at my feet, on the sunny side of the street. Oh yeah.